One of the primary reasons why we care whether resonance is relevant to a molecule or not is that resonance imparts stability to molecules. The origin of this stability has to do with electron and charge delocalization. In molecules characterized by resonance, electrons and charges are spread out over more atoms than they are in comparable localized structures. Because electrons repel one another owing to their negative charge, spreading them out over a larger area leads to stabilization via a reduction in these repulsive forces. The essence of resonance really is electron delocalization. Recall that the major limitation of the Lewis model of bonding is that it can't depict delocalization of electrons over more than two atoms. We're restricted to drawing structures in which electrons are either between a pair of atoms or located on a single atom. But there are many molecules in organic chemistry that are characterized by true delocalization of electrons, and this is where resonance comes into play, the use of multiple Lewis structures to represent contributions to the true structure of an organic molecule. Important resonance structures show the major atoms over which charge is distributed within the true structure of a molecule. And in looking at the molecular orbitals for a species characterized by multiple important resonance forms, we find that the electrons engaged in resonance, which I'm highlighting here in red, are located in molecular orbitals that are spread out over all of the atoms involved in the resonance. In this case, all three carbons involving the lone pair and the pi bond in both resonance forms. Compare that to this localized situation on the left where this lone pair is clearly localized on an n-type non-bonding orbital on this carbon atom. Because the electrons have more room to roam, in this case on the right, than the case on the left, we should expect the molecule on the right to be more stable than the molecule on the left. To state it plainly, a charged atom or lone pair that is engaged in resonance or participating in resonance is more stable and less reactive than a comparable lone pair or charged atom not engaged in resonance, other things being equal. One way to think about this is in terms of a competition between internal and external electron flow, where the possibility of internal electron flow, that is, an alternative resonance form, actually makes external electron flow less favorable and less likely. Let's return to the example involving our localized and delocalized carbon ions from the last slide. The localized carbon ion is a strong Lewis base at carbon owing to the relatively low electronegativity of carbon, and so this lone pair can be donated to a wide variety of electron sinks. We can draw the same type of electron flow for the lone pair in the delocalized anion. However, that lone pair also participates in internal electron flow, that is, resonance. The curved arrows showing the conversion to the other important resonance form involve using that lone pair as an internal electron source. The importance of this internal electron flow to the structure of the delocalized anion makes the molecule less reactive than the localized structure in which that kind of internal electron flow is not possible. In a way, this is just restating the same conclusion we came to on the last slide. However, the curved arrows give us a graphical and intuitive feel for why resonance leads to stabilization. Internal electron flow competes with the donation of electron pairs to external electron sinks. And in fact, the same competition type idea holds for electron acceptance as well. We can compare, for example, a delocalized carbocation, which bears an alkene group adjacent to the positively charged carbon, with a localized carbocation lacking that structural feature. These molecules can act as electron sinks at the positively charged six electron carbon atom. However, in the cation characterized by resonance, we can draw an alternative resonance form involving the donation of the pi electrons toward the carbocationic center. Notice that both curved arrows are pointing toward the cationic carbon and will result in its conversion to a neutral center. This is the competition idea again, and what we can conclude from it is that the delocalized cation is less reactive toward electron sources now than the localized cation is. Let's look at one last example involving two neutral nitrogen atoms within the structure shown here. The two nitrogens differ most prominently in the possibility of resonance associated with the electron pairs on these atoms. While both have the potential to act as external bases, toward electron sinks, such as protons, 
The amide nitrogen is also associated with a very important resonance form involving an n to pi star interaction with the carbonyl group. This interaction stabilizes the electron pair in the amide nitrogen, making it less reactive as an external base than the amino nitrogen, which does not participate in resonance with any nearby atoms.